So Martin Madrazo's house is ready to be towed down. There's our bison ready to tow that house down. But before we do so, I'm going to put containers underneath this house. And hopefully, guys, just hopefully, this will stop the house from falling down. I'm going to use the red ones and we're just going to stack them all up so they go right next to the house. Oh, this is looking perfect. There's our containers. Hopefully, this will stop the house from falling down. Let's see what happens. Let's get in the car and let's pull this house down and see if the containers will hold it up. So three, two, one. I'm so excited. Let's just do this. Let's get into this. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait. Oh, the house is getting down. The house is breaking. The house is breaking. I'm so done. I'm so done. That was amazing. Because of the incredible support you guys have given my channel, I'm giving away these consoles to you guys at home. So if you want to win one of them, just click the link to my giveaway in the description below. Good luck and enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today we're gonna see if we can save Martin Madrazo's house in GTA 5, and I'm pretty sure this is one of the most epic cutscenes in the game, and loads of you guys were asking me, why can't we try to save Martin Madrazo's house? So that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video, we're gonna try and save his house, but before we get into the video, I just want to quickly ask some of you guys if you could be ever so kind enough to save smash that thumbs up button, it would honestly mean the absolute world to me. Let's try and smash our goal of 5,000 likes. We do it in every single episode. You guys have been killing it recently. So if you guys enjoy this series, smash that like button. But oh boy, this guy is in trouble. He is going to run back to Martin Madrazo's house. And this is where all of the awesomeness is going to begin. So jump through that window, boy. Jump through that window. Get out of there. Michael's going to kill you. But what we're going to do is basically place containers, vehicles, pedestrians, we're even going to change pedestrians to the people in the house at the same time. And we're just going to see if we can save the house from falling or at least minimize the damage of the house when it does fall in GTA 5. So this is going to be an absolutely awesome episode. I hope you guys do enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight into things. And oh boy, Amanda's angry. <laughs> <laughs> let's get in the truck and let's follow them down. So this isn't actually that much of a drive. I think it's only like a minute or so. So those of you guys who don't remember what this cutscene is, it's something you see right at the start of campaign. And it's basically when you attach a cable to a huge house in the hills. And you basically rip down that entire house because the tennis coach, the person who has been uh, basically having an affair with Amanda, is kind of running up to that house. And we initially think that house is his. But little do we know that when we do tear it down, Martin Madrazo comes right after us. There's his car anyway. He is so screwed. And there is, of course, the tennis coach living in Martin Madrazo's house. I'm pretty sure you guys are, are getting flashbacks now on this amazing cutscene. Uh, but we basically tie something to one of those poles and pull down the entire house. So this is gonna be awesome. Oh my gosh. Wait, I don't wanna... I don't wanna go straight into that first. First off, I'm gonna go into no clip, and we're just gonna quickly check out exactly what's going on up here. So this is what you guys don't see when you're about to tear it down. This is the entire house. Oh, look at that interior. It looks so good. Oh my days. Oh my days. This looks amazing. Rockstar haven't really gone all out on the interior, but look at this, guys. I mean, everything has got a room. That's pretty cool. We got the uh, the shower, I guess, in there. What was meant to be a shower. We got another blank room. This is pretty interesting, just exploring the house. I didn't actually realize this house had this many rooms. I thought it was just all for display on the interior. It's even got a display bedroom. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize you could see all these things. Okay, these are all kind of display models though, of course, they're not really the best of models, but this is still pretty cool. I did not expect to see all this stuff. Got a few more rooms, a few more rooms as well. Oh man, this place is huge. Okay, so yeah, this is the tennis coach. Let's just move him. There we go, buddy. <laughs> he's shaking. Oh my days. He's, he's like properly shaking and the entire house is going to come down. All right, so what we're going to do first is see if we can place containers underneath the house. I want to see just the obvious. I want to see if that works. So I'm going to go into search and we're going to place down some containers. So let's do this. If I go into this, we're just going to place down the red ones. And I'm going to place down a container to where Franklin has to go to the pole uh, and basically attach the, the end of the bison onto it. So... Franklin shouldn't actually be able to get to these poles now because there's containers in front of them And of course these containers should as well hold up the house and stuff So hopefully this will kind of save the damage the house is about to go through and this might even break the entire fall. So 
I guess we're just gonna keep putting these containers down. Okay, I think that's definitely enough. I think that's definitely enough containers. Let's delete that one. Okay, so let's go back into our bison and let's go into the waypoint. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, it's gonna go down. It's gonna go down. Here we go. Where is Franklin gonna go? Where is he gonna put the supports on? I'm really intrigued. Is he just gonna walk straight through the containers? No way is he gonna be able to do that. Oh, Michael throwing them roast. Throwing them roast, buddy. Keep roasting him. Keep roasting him. Oh wait, okay, Franklin just went straight through the container, I assume. This is when Martin regrets his friendship with the tennis coach. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, so he actually managed to attach it through the containers. That's interesting. I was not expecting Franklin to be able to do that. Okay, part of the house is falling. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Is it gonna save the house? Is it gonna hold- Oh! Oh, no! I don't think it's gonna save the house. You can already see some of it going into the container. That's so gutting. I don't think this is gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. It just goes straight through the containers. Oh my days, that's so frustrating. I honestly thought for a moment that this might kind of hold the stuff of the house. We understand the house will fall apart, but how awesome would it be if it just fell into those containers and just kind of stayed around there? That would be awesome. But unfortunately, you can't do that. That's really annoying, but there's the, there's the wreckage of his house. I guess we're gonna have to think of another plan. So let me restart this mission. And let me quickly think of another plan here, guys. So, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so we're back at the house, boys. And this time, I'm gonna try an interesting plan of just kind of like taking the car as far away as possible using my object spooner. So I'll show you guys exactly what I mean in a second. If we just skip this cutscene, and then if we get back into this vehicle, what we're gonna do is grab this vehicle and take it as far away as possible. I wanna see what happens to the rope and the cable on this car. So, let me go into this. Let me grab the car. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh my days. We actually flipped the vehicle. Wait, where's the vehicle gone? Where's the vehicle gone? What have we done with it? <laughs> oh my days. What have we done? What have we done? What? That's actually insane. That is so cool. That is so cool! Oh my gosh! I didn't actually think we'd be able to do that. What? What? I mean, I know we still haven't saved the house, but that is still pretty cool. I'm gonna bring this to the road. Wait, where's it going? It's <laughs> stuck under the map. Look at this, it's just dangling there. It's just dangling there, guys. Can we see the rope? Oh my days, that's actually insane. That's actually so cool. Should we see what happens if we try and um, take down the house from under the map? Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, we're actually doing this underneath the map. No way, look at that. You get textures underneath the vehicle as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm not even joking. This is actually awesome. We took down the entire house underneath the map. Is that it? Is there still more to go? No, it's still... Here we go. Oh, there's the house. There's the house. It's all coming down. Oh, wait. What's going to happen to the car afterwards? What's going to happen to our vehicle? Is it just going to fall? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Um. What's... What? What just happened? What just... I have no idea. I have no idea what just happened. That, that was so cool. The game has just completely gone on us. I, I don't... I have no idea what it's doing. That's actually really cool. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I think we actually broke the game. I'm not even... Like, I've been waiting for just over 10 minutes. I think we might have just broken the game. Because it's not taking us back into GTA 5. I don't think Rockstar wanted us to take down the house from underneath the map. That's so cool. So yeah, officially broke the game. I gotta quickly just close this down and restart the entire game. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so let's load this back up and let's get back into the game. We actually broke the game though, which is incredible. I didn't even realize we could have done that. So 
Oh my gosh, let's just load this up and let's get things going again. So, in your own time, Rockstar, in your own time, GTA, let's get going, let's get cracking, let's do this, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go, we're back in the game, awesome. So, oh, I wonder what happens if we uh, do this. It's kind of interesting, because it might be a fail win if we do something like this, but what if... Would that work? It will work. Yeah, what if we do this underneath the house? Is this going to kill us? I think it might. Oh my days. We're doing it underneath the house. I actually think this might kill us. I, I'm not even joking. I think this might kill us in the process. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What? What? I guess that kind of answers the question that vehicles can't stop the falling house, but it's just how the house came down on us. Oh my days. That's crazy. What? I, I wasn't expecting that. That's actually insane. So, even with us underneath the house, it's proven two things. One thing is that you can't kill yourself with the falling objects, and the other thing is that the falling objects go through vehicles. So we're gonna have to think of another plan. Now, something interesting is that I actually decided to follow this car, and it speeds off all the way to this tennis coach's house, and then it just disappears. See, look, it will park up, and it just disappears. And if we go down here, you'll see the car is, like, right there. So that's pretty interesting. I want to see what happens if um, we get in the car, and then we move the car onto here. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That's actually awesome. Let's do this again. Let's bring it on top. Oh, what? What? The tennis coach got spooked. He got spooked. What? Has anyone ever got that before in this mission? The tennis coach got spooked? Hopefully this won't fail the mission again. Oh, it failed the mission again. Okay, so... I don't think... I think Rockstar have even planned this far ahead. You can't have the vehicle on the balcony. Just because we can. And because I know it'll be pretty interesting regardless. I'm gonna put down loads and loads of buses. Okay, I think... Buses are just fun. What do we do this time? We killed the tennis coach. Are you kidding me? Are you, it's only a few buses. It's only a few. How do we kill the tennis coach? That's not fair. Let's see what happens here. Acceleration 200%. And we're just going to speed off. Oh, <laughs> Probably a bad idea. Probably a really bad idea. I got another cool idea, actually, to make this an even worse idea. Let's do fly mode. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my days, oh my days. Come on, let's just go straight off the edge. We can do this. It's like we're attached onto this one rope. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. How are we gonna take down this house if we're... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I think we might have broken the game again. I mean, this is gonna be like the first time in an episode where we actually break the game twice. Because I don't know what's happened to the house. Wait, what has happened to the house? <laughs> I just realized, like, half the house is missing. It's kind of like, we're still attached to it, which doesn't make sense. We're still attached to the house, which isn't there anymore. We have really broken this game. We broke the game twice. I think this is kind of like a voice telling us, screaming at us, telling us to stop playing the game and just to leave this challenge where it is. Because it's pretty evident right now that you can't save Martin Madrazo's house. But in the process of doing so, this has been the only challenge where we've actually managed to break the game twice in the process, which is actually incredible. So I, I guess I'm going to have to end it here. But if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please don't leave it out. Smashing that thumbs up button. It would honestly mean the world to me. And uh, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, just subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more awesome things like this on a daily basis. But I'm going to have to end it here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. My my name is Nort, and of course, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys next time.